Hello everybody, I'm Storm here. Welcome back to Mass Effect 2. In the last episode, we had a few conversations with crew to kind of catch up with them a little bit. And then we went and woke up Grunt, the new Krogan member of the team. Well, he is now anyway. So yeah, took care of that and then went and ran a quick mission, just kind of fill out the time. A little, little quick side mission. And so now what we're ready to do is go and acquire Jack, the powerful human biotic who's currently incarcerated on a prison ship. So we're going to go head over there and pick them up. So let's go ahead and uh, get to it. Ah, uh, yeah, we gotta do some uh, flying here. Alright, replace the fuel, and let's head on over to the Hourglass Nebula. And there is the prison ship Purgatory, where we're going to be recruiting the Convict. So let's go ahead and do that. Alright, and I will be bringing Grunt along. Because he's really good to bring along. And, um... You know what? I'll bring Zaid along as well. Now, do I want to replace this with anything? No. Carnifex hand cannon is still fine. Talk to the guard. Welcome to the Purgatory, Shepard. Your package is being prepped and you can claim it shortly. As this is a high security vessel, you'll need to relinquish your weapons before we proceed. Uh, new. No. I'll relinquish one bolt. Where do you want? Everyone stand down. Commander, I'm Warden Kiram, and this is my ship. Your weapons will be returned on the way out. You must realize this is just a standard procedure. Not gonna happen. I'm not surrendering my gun. Period. Let them proceed. Our facility is more than secure enough to handle three armed guests. We're bringing Jack out of cryo. As soon as the fund's clear, you can be on your way. If you'll follow me to out processing for the pickup, Commander. Let's go. Cell Block 2. As you can see, we keep tight control over the population. Each prisoner's cell is a self-contained modular unit. I've blown a few out the airlocks as an example. The ship is made up of 30 cell blocks identical to this one. We house thousands of criminals. We can put the whole place in lockdown on a moment's notice. Nothing goes wrong here. Oh, really? This must be expensive. Maintaining a population this size in space can't be cheap. We can cut corners that governments can't, and each prisoner brings in a fee from his home world. These individuals are violent, and their home planets pay well to keep them here. And what if they don't? What happens if the home world doesn't want to pay? We explain that we can't maintain the prisoner without their help, so we'll be forced to release him back onto his home world at an unspecified place and time. 
You scare the homeworlds with the prisoners. You don't have to agree with my methods, but don't question my motives. These are despicable people, and I'm keeping them locked up. Okay. And uh, let's ask about you. How'd you end up running this ship? I was in law enforcement on Palavin and got sick of seeing criminals escape out into the galaxy to carry on with their crimes. Bounty hunters aren't dependable. You're not hiring the right ones. Eventually I hit upon this idea. Keep the criminals in space and the galaxy is a safer place. So it's principle? You do this because you think it's necessary? Every day I see the worst sapient life has to offer. Governments are soft, unwilling to make the hard choices. Someone had to stand up and make the galaxy safe. And that happens to be you. All right, well, what about Jack? Can you tell me about Jack? Cerberus hasn't told you. Jack is the meanest handful of violence and hate I've ever encountered. Dangerous, crazy, and very powerful. You'll see soon enough. <laughs> Sounds fun. All right. Let's get on with this. I bet people try pretty hard to get out. We're in space. They have nowhere to go, and they know it. But still, we exercise extreme caution. These are dangerous individuals. We have many ways to control the population. I'm going to confirm that the funds from Cerberus cleared. Our processing is straight down this hallway. Just keep going past the interrogation rooms and the supermax wing. I'll catch up with you later, Shepard. All right. Well, we're on our own. No one walks away from torture unchanged. Not the subject, not the torturer himself. Never found torture worth the price, myself. Is there something I can do for you? Hmm, no. This isn't my business. Glad you understand, sir. Hey. Hey, guys, over here. Let me ask you something. What's up? If you're buying prisoners, can you buy me? Man, I, I don't care where you take me or what you do to me. It's gotta be better than this. Get yourself out. We're here for Jack. Jack? Forget what I just said. I don't want to go nowhere with you. Uh, what's this with Jack? Tell me more about Jack. The worst trouble you ever saw. Mixed with some crazy and way too much biotic power. That's all I'm saying. Alright. And what's this about buying prisoners? I thought this ship was a prison, not a market. Sometimes people buy cons so they can do some punishing of their own. If you understand. Warden sells this to whoever can pay enough. Ah. Uh, so he's a slaver. Why are they interrogating that prisoner? He knows something? Nah, that's Bimmy. He don't know nothing. He offed someone in the showers yesterday, I think. Guy he killed was worth a lot to the warden. Yeah. Sucks to be Bimmy right now. And what did you do? So, what are you in for? I killed a few people. Only about 20 or so. And I blew up that one habitat. Small time compared to most of the guys here. That small time? Jeez. All right. What's it like here? Bad. And you gotta watch out. Damn, but someone's always after your stuff. Your smokes, your clothes, your pride. I haven't taken a shower in three months. Yeah. All right then. I should go. Wish I could go. Maybe I shouldn't have blown up that habitat. I hear the screaming in my head. It's nice. Yeah. Okay. We'll just leave that one alone. Out processing's through the door on the far side of the room. All right then. as a prisoner than a customer. Drop your weapons and proceed into this open cell. You will not be harmed. 
Uh, no. Go to hell. I'll send you there myself. Activate systems. Alright, let's deal with these. Oh, make sure I get the right ammo here. Alright, let's switch over to the pistol. Oh, they got mechs. Firing an impact gun. Everybody, at least initially, anyway. Yeah, that didn't go well for you, did it? Alright. Purgatory security controls. Oh, hold on. Let me grab this first. That's going to open every door on the cell block. It's the only way. I'm doing it. Be ready. Let's go. Warning. Warning. Ooh, I want to see how long she can last. I'll take it. Grunt seems to be having fun. Things went to hell quick. All prisoners, return to your cells immediately, or I'll open every airlock on this ship. Barry concussive shot. All right, we got a mech. down. Nah, I don't want to go that far yet. On the ground, now! Behind you. 
You must find another exit route. All right then. Power plant damage has led to overload. Core systems failure imminent. Jeez. All right. Well, let's uh, take what we can as we leave. Oh, just missed it. All right. Need to look for the next one. There it is. And then. There we go. Yeah, scan that shotgun. in the wrong direction there. Okay. Now they get closer. I'll put them down. First, keep an eye on where it is. I'll put them down. Be awfully close. Okay, got through that. Find Jack. Full alert. Find Jack. She seems to be making a mess. Right, let's just make sure there isn't anything else that we can uh, grab here. No, it doesn't look like it. Got a bypass here. You're valuable, Shepard. I could have sold you and lived like a king. But you're too much trouble. At least I can recapture Jack. Not happening. You're a two-bit slave trader, and I don't have time for it. 
I do the hard things civil governments are unwilling to. This is for the good of the galaxy. Alright. I don't think so. I think it's a good for the good of your uh your wallet. Don't want to waste ammunition on this, but I'm gonna have to. To the right. Or I could use that. Okay. Get down. That commander, gotta go. There we go. Can I get that over there? No. There's, there's a guy back there that just doesn't want to doesn't want to come out. down. There we go. One more. Right, everybody else down? No, there's another one. Somebody else kicking around here. There we go. All right, now the warden shields are down. Let's close. go and there is Jack Stop. Cerberus do you want? Uh, you're welcome. I just saved your ass. He was already dead. He just didn't know it. Now, what the hell do you want? I'm Commander Shepard. My name is Shepard, and I'm here to get you off this ship. I'm not going anywhere with you. You're Cerberus. Um, being my enemy is unhealthy. You just saw what happened. I'm offering to be your friend. You don't want to be my enemy. Listen to Shepard. It'll save your life. You show up in a Cerberus frigate to take me away somewhere? You think I'm stupid? Yes. This ship is going down in flames. I've got the only way out. I'm offering to take you with me. And you're arguing. Just shoot her and patch her up on the ship. I'd like to see you try. Maybe we should. It might just come to that. You'll have to kill me. Look, you want me to come with you? Make it worth my while. 
Okay, what do you want? Tell me what you think. I bet your ship's got lots of Cerberus databases. I want to look at those files, see what Cerberus has got on me. You want me on your team? Let me go through those databases. All right. I'll give you full access. You better be straight up with me. So why the hell are we standing here? Move out. All right, there we are. Created prisoner known as Jack. Purgatory's betrayal, Shepard, unacceptable. Fortunately, was able to reverse credit transfer. May have to take steps against Blue Suns to demonstrate consequences of interference. All right. Welcome to the Normandy, Jack. I'm Miranda, Shepard's second in command. On this ship, we follow orders. Tell the Cerberus cheerleader to back off, Shepard. I'm here because of our deal. All right, give her the files. Miranda will let you into the system. Let me know what you find. Hear that, precious? We're going to be friends. You, me, and every embarrassing little secret. I'll be reading down in the hold, or somewhere near the bottom. I don't like a lot of through traffic. Keep your people off me. Better that way. All right. So, we now have a crazy, incredibly powerful biotic on the team. That works. All right, we're going to go ahead and probably end the episode right here. I'm just going to take care of one thing. Before so, we Abby, do that, how are you gonna spend your next furlough? You really think we'll have another shore leave? Of course. Shepard's forming the best team this galaxy has ever seen. We're gonna kick some ass. I'm sure you're right, Matthews. So, what does Joker have to say about all this? Okay, Shepard, glad you're back, but keep an eye on that last one. We can only hold so much crazy. I assume everything is going well up here. Shh, 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 shh. Joker? I can tell when it's listening. I am always listening, Mr. Moreau. I know. <laughs> All right. Um, let's ask about the squad. What do you think about the people we're picking up? Well, about the ones you went out with last, Grunt is not a stabilizing element, Commander. Zaid is like you, but takes checks. As long as it's not my money, we're good. It's just my opinion, though. There's really no need to go spreading around. That's it for now. See you, Commander. I think we've already heard the Zaid one, but uh, not the Grunt one yet. All right. So, yeah, we'll go ahead and end the episode here. So I think next time we're going to be locked into a story mission that we're going to have to do. The elusive man wishes to speak to you in the debriefing room, Commander. There we go. So yeah, that's going to lock us into a mission, so I don't necessarily have time to do that now, so we'll do that for next episode. So for now, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.